21. Thank you. Uh, hello, it's so great to be here. Uh, I just broke up with a guy. It's so sad. I know. It's so sad. When you break up with a guy, why do the guys get so upset? It's like, it's just business. <laughs> It's hard breaking up with them because you had to be like, listen, you've run out of money. <laughs> I know it's hard to listen to comedy right now with all these environmental disasters going on. It's so sad. Can you believe we're running out of diamonds? <laughs> how are we going to make more diamonds? The only way I know how to make a diamond is to jerk off an old man. <laughs> Hi, there you are, Tim. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Why do I wear the gloves? I just got back from Vegas. There's so many bros in Vegas. Like, these guys will brag about anything. I was in Vegas and this guy's like, yo, had sex the prostitute last night, bro. <laughs> okay, bragging that you had sex with a prostitute is like bragging that you got some chips from a vending machine. <laughs> so I'm at the dance club and these girls are running around and they're like, let's get retarded in here. I'm like, mission accomplished. <laughs> with music. What are these songs? They make no sense. Woo! I'm Fred Flintstone. I'm gonna make your band rock. <laughs> and then the chorus to that song is this like little 11 year old girl. She's like, I'm gonna put my on in your side, bitch. You're too young to be having sex. <laughs> Am I right, people? <laughs> I love being in New York. Every time I stay here, I stay in a different area. Right now, I'm in Chinatown, which I like to call the illegal purse district. <laughs> because for some reason, Every day at 5 o'clock, the cops come and arrest all these poor Haitians who are trying to sell fake designer purses to tourists. I mean, do the New York police really know the difference between a real designer purse and a fake one? It's not like, freeze, you tell me that that piece of is a Mark Jacobs classic signature home. So I'm from Illinois, thank you. I just went home to visit my family and I asked them, hey, are you guys planning on talking in those accents the whole time I'm home? And my mom's like, you used to talk like this too, Tasha. Uh, yes, but you see, I reinvented myself. <laughs> My dad's discovered the internet. Uh, just because someone raised you does not mean that you have to add them on Facebook. <laughs> my dad has no idea how it works. He's picking up on my friends. He's given himself a mobster name. Now he's known as Johnny Legs. He's racist. Like some guy with a Spanish last name wrote on my wall. He's like, I want to marry you. And my dad's like, over my dead body, Jose Cuervo. Yep. 
I do hate going home to visit my family, and it's hard for me to explain why without being rude. So I actually brought a newspaper article. Hold on. From my hometown newspaper, I'd like to read, which sort of illustrates why I never go home. All right, you're gonna love this. It's called. Oh, the title. It's called "Armless Woman Refused Service at Fast Food Restaurant." <laughs> Rockford, Illinois woman Yvonne Darson, who was born without arms, was refused service at a fast food restaurant when the staff refused to let her take away her food with her feet. <laughs> Dawson pulled up to the first window, gave the cashier her credit card with her foot, and was told by the cashier, "Girl, you ain't got no arms." <laughs> process to get a job at Rite Aid. <laughs> so I've been to one of these. I was there. It was this woman's job to collect the baskets. I want to show you how she was doing it. Do these people just wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and go as little as possible? <laughs> and then I'm waiting in line to pay behind this mother-daughter cowgirl team. And they don't have enough money, so they realize they have to put something back. So the mom's like, "You put your book back. Shall I put my book back? You put your book back. Why should I put my book back? You put your book back." Finally, I just felt like helping them. I was like, "Ladies, In Touch Weekly is not a book." <laughs> To pay, and the woman behind the register is like, "Democratic." As I'm signing, I feel this sharp thing hit me in the head. The woman behind the register is clipping her fingernails. <laughs> I got so mad, I grab my stuff, and as I go out, she goes, "Have a blessed day." <laughs> But see, I knew even in her head, she misspelled the word "blessed." <laughs> Did you know they have home paternity tests now at Rite Aid? Not pregnancy tests, paternity tests. So you can go down the aisle, you know, you and your kid. Oh, uh, let's get some toilet paper.、Uh, you want an ice cream cone? You know, while we're at it, why don't we see who your daddy is? <laughs> Do you guys have babies? I know, gross, right? <laughs> oh, can't go out anymore. My friends who have babies can't do anything. Having a baby is like a DUI from the universe. <laughs> On my new favorite television show called "I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant." <laughs> yes. Does anyone know what channel this is on? <laughs> the Learning Channel. <laughs> it's on the Learning Channel, and I don't want to spoil it, but it's a reality show where these women are walking around town. I don't know. Maybe they're going camping. All of a sudden, a baby comes out, <laughs> usually in a toilet, and they have no idea they're pregnant. 
And so TLC is trying to make this show educational. So they're like, pregnancy tip number two, this can happen to you. <laughs> uh, no one smarts having a toilet baby. It's not like, darling, you'll never guess what's come out of my vagina. <laughs> You never hear stories on that show like, well, I was making my way down to the stables because Velvet Crusader had been nickering about. <laughs> and I look down and you'll never guess what came forth from my loins. <laughs> that show. I just fed on the Batman ride at Six Flags. Going to get me another kind candy stick. I look down. There is a baby on the street. I walk two blocks. That damn thing's following me. What did she think? Nine months ago she ate a bad McRib? Oh, don't order that number three combo. That make your period stop. Oh, oh, oh that old burger must have had a curse on it. the bathroom and launched the child into the toilet, the first thing she probably thought was, I don't remember eating no baby. <laughs> and the kid who probably already has a higher reading level than her is like, did I seriously just pop out of this idiot and into a toilet? <laughs> And there's another show on about toilet babies. Um, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I was a judge on a reality show and I still have no idea how those rules work. They are so confusing. It's like, tonight the bottom two decide which six will join the final five. <laughs> Great. Can't wait. My favorite reality show, I have to say, is American Idol, but at the beach. Relax. <laughs> At the beginning, when they go to all these small towns, who are these people auditioning? I think I'm gonna be an American Idol. In fact, I know I am. Uh, you have a lazy eye. Every girl who auditions. I've been dancing on a moonbeam. Anybody? 
You sir? Da 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 Afraid of getting roofied? <laughs> it's like relax. You can take the coaster off your drink. <laughs> There's at least three of us in line before you. <laughs> I said that on stage. <laughs> Wait till after the joke to woo this one. <laughs> Maybe you can explain this then to me. Okay, so I'm in Boston and I say this joke and afterwards this girl comes up to me with this thick Boston accent and she's like, huh? You seriously never woke up at a party and some guy was inside you. <laughs> I never woke up at a party. And that's how toilet babies are made. <laughs> TLC. I didn't know I was getting. <laughs> oh, wait. That's called Jersey Shore. <laughs> that show is like watching the animal planet. <laughs> Guidos make more Guidos. <laughs> Same thing happens every day on the show. They uh, stand out on the porch, the guys, and they like yell at the chicks walking by. They're like, hey, come and do a hot tub. <laughs> and the girls walking on the street are like, oh my god, you got a hot tub? <laughs> I don't know where they meet people who've never seen a hot tub. <laughs> drag him up to the hot tub and then all of a sudden the girls are like oh no we don't got swimsuits <laughs> and the guys are like come on your underwear is basically swimsuits <laughs> and then Snooki gets punched in the face <laughs> so sad. Uh, there is a new thing in Los Angeles called the LA Gang Tours. And this is something for a hundred dollars you can get a seat on this tour bus that takes you to the most dangerous parts of Los Angeles. I know because it goes past my house. And all of the gangsters in the area have agreed to a seat Fire during the tour. Okay. I would just love to see who is on this bus. Because you know it's just a bunch of white people in safari outfits who want to look at minorities through bulletproof glass. on other people's things. <laughs> and my cousin who's a gangster, he's like, no, Tosh, you don't understand. You throw a fat piece up there, that place is yours. 
I'm like, no one thinks you own Costco. <laughs> How come there's no self-effacing rappers? Had to go to Goodwill to get this jacket That's cause I'm in a low income tax bracket <laughs> That I would listen to Cause here's the thing, even if you are hip hop rich like, you have to take a segue to get from your dining room to your basketball court. You're still nowhere near as rich as real rich people. You know, like the people who ruined the ocean. Oh, so sorry about that oil spill. Let me write you a check. What should I put in the memo line? I'll just put oopsie. Start rapping. Actually, can I get a beat? Can anyone beatbox? Anyone? I need a beatbox, sir. You, sir? You, oh, how about him? You, sir? Can you beatbox? Come on, come on, come on. We need somebody. It's a TV taping! Be careful, I don't want you to fall. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay. All right, come here. What's your name, sir? Freddie. Freddie, use the mic, Freddie. Freddie. Do you, do you know how to beatbox? Um, I'm not sure. Use the mic, Freddie. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. All right, give me a beat, try it out. This is gonna be my, my uh, rich person rap. Give me a beat, I needed something to dance okay. to. Just back up a little bit. Okay, give me a beat. Thank you.